Okay guys, how you guys doing? I know it's been a while since I made a video. Just working out of the garage at home. Got a 2004 Toyota Camry. Uh, building a lot of pressure in the cooling system, overheating randomly. Uh, customer put in a new radiator, thermostat and all kinds of stuff. Still ended up overheating. Checked it out. Too much pressure in the cooling system. S suspected bad head gasket. Found a TSB for cylinder head bolts, threads in the block pulling out. Um, so I located this <clears throat> time cert thread repair kit. It's a used kit I picked up a couple hundred bucks. It actually came with inserts. They look like this. So you gotta basically drill out the block, re-thread it, or tap it, install this, and should keep your head bolts good for a while longer so you stop overheating comes with a few tools um, got them over here on the bench that I've been using right here um, so you got to go through measure your depths I've already got most of them done you want to try to seal up all your oil passages it's really hard to get your cooling ones sealed because the plate has to sit flat on the block so I tried taping it up. Didn't work out too well. So you just have to get in there and try to clean out your cooling system passages as best as possible because there is a lot of metal shavings from the drilling and everything. So I already went through, measured them. Um, it's a, these are about 75 millimeters. It's pretty hard to see down in there. but So I marked them all. I got one at 85 millimeters. Um... So I'm going to do that one last because i got to reset the drill and everything. So has this plate. Um, one size is a little bit bigger because you got to use this on all your tools. That way you can line it all up. It's been bolting on with this hole and this hole on this Toyota. Um, so you got to go set your... Put your collar on there. Set your... So 75 millimeters here and that's to the this goes even with that plate right there and you want to be right at the top 75 millimeters to the top of that as this drill bit has two different sizes on it and that way the insert will go in to that level and catch your thread bolt head bolt threads properly um, so we'll go ahead and get started so you first step is to drill second step is to tap actually I do need to remark my tools here so I know where I'm at I'm supposed to get it even here best as possible and then you want to mark it to the to this collar on your drill bit that way you don't have to keep pulling your collar off and installing them on each tools it'd be nice if you had three collars one for each tool but you don't so and then the markings keep wiping off as you use the cleaner and stuff so that's yeah, pretty close this one comes right to the top let's put a little mark on there that dry it comes with a few different lengths bolts um, mine's using the longest ones, so bring that over here. Go ahead and do this hole here. So what I've been doing, drop my bolts, make sure you get it pretty close. Grab my collar and my drill. Go ahead and insert the collar into the plate. I set my drill down in. Um, make sure the ratchet's on on. I'm using electric ratchets. Love these Milwaukee ratchets. Snug it down. And well, now we're going to go ahead and drill this hole out. First, I was a little nervous on the first couple, but... That's why you got the collar, because it stops at that depth that you need to go. So. 
just like drilling a normal hole. Once that collar starts walking up, you want to pull it out. Quite a bit of metal shavings in there. I've been using a little bit of air. See, the shavings get everywhere, so I got the passages all plugged off. I also want to try to make sure that collar slides and then it falls off on you when you got one hand. drills getting old wore out usually it takes about two clean outs make sure all that stuff's out of there give another pull put your collar back in should be able to get it this time This one's being tougher, uh, the toughest one out of them all for some reason. Got it blown out good. Put my collar back in. Let's try again. There it goes. Get it right down to that collar. Right down there. Make sure it spins freely. drill bit out. You need that collar for the next step. Okay, so then we put the collar back in. It says use WD-40 for the cutting. Um, fortunately, I don't have none. I've been using PB Blaster. Drop it in there. You just put a put a little squirt down in there. Put some lube down in the hole, help tapping. So a lot of guys will probably not like this, but this is how I do it. Um, actually got a 12 point 716 socket, fits on this tap pretty good. And I actually use this electric ratchet because it's a lot of threads to cut by hand. And as you can see, we got a mark right there on the tap. So we want to go down to that and stop. I usually get about halfway. Back it up. Flip it back. It might have went a little far, but you can see the black mark stop right there. Pull it out. I always pull up on the ratchet, try not to leave any tension on it when I'm going. That way it helps the tap pull out. Pull out your tools right there, and go ahead and clean out the hole again. Um, And I've been using brake clean down in the hole because you need the hole dry. All the, yeah, maybe you didn't. But see all the dirt and everything comes out. Blow it out as best as possible. So with this time cert kit, it comes with um, insertion oil driver tool oil um, put a few drops on there roll it around 
and I haven't been able to get the insert on too far but let's go ahead and do this one handed in camera view let's get it on there started best as I can and something to do with the way the threads are cut on the insertion tool to the insert it helps the insert lock into place it also comes with this time cert thread lock which is a loctite put a little bit on there try to get on both sides there at the very bottom it says so i go ahead and put the tool in i get it started by hand and well i go back to my trusty old ratchet over here and it's screwing in quite a ways by hand which is more than likely the insert threading into the block um get my ratchet on position over here and go ahead and use my ratchet again I'm not going too fast you can hear it slow down the ratchet So once I get down to the end, I just finish it up by hand. And I've been doing it until it bottoms out. Until I can't turn it no more. I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure. Probably like 20 foot pounds of torque or so. But I'm pull it back out. And on to the next one. Then you uh, got to pull the plate back off and clean up your tools for the next hole. It's a little time consuming, especially if you're doing all of them, which I would definitely advise doing all 10 cylinder head bolt holes on these blocks. Um, yeah. So that's how you do the thread bolt repair kit with the time cert uh, kit. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.